One woman is speaking out tonight after she says she was fraudulently scammed out of $82 on Skip the Dishes, a order that she never placed. Now, she said numerous attempts to contact Skip the Dishes to inform them she had been hacked. The food company had zero answers and refused to refund her the money. It's just been really frustrating that uh, Skip the Dishes kind of just like blew it off as if it was like no, no big deal. Diane Kim says she had received an email from Skip the Dishes saying her order was being prepared. An order she says was never placed. They had ordered from a nearby restaurant. That restaurant was in Montreal. The order was for $82 worth of food. Kim says she then called Skip the Dishes to tell them she never placed the order, waited 40 minutes before getting someone on the phone. Then she says she was given the runaround. Did your, like, skip the dishes got hacked or did your credit card get hacked? So they were trying to kind of play it off like, oh, are you sure it was our, our, you know, application that got was the issue? Kim says she immediately changed her password, canceled her credit card associated to the account. And after a week of trying to find out what happened, skip the dishes gave her a $7 credit, but no refund. They never really addressed that this was a concern with like the security issue. It kind of made it seem like, oh, are you sure that it got hacked? So what happened? According to Skip the Dishes, they say their system was never breached. A statement to City News reads in part, an account takeover, which is common across e-commerce platforms, is a type of fraud where an unknown third party uses stolen account credentials such as usernames, email addresses or passwords and attempts to gain access to other websites and platforms using those same credentials. No Skip the Dishes systems have been breached. What were you hoping at least their response would be? I was hoping that, you know, if they couldn't give me my money back, then like I understand that because on their end it might be hard, but um, they weren't even trying to kind of like, you know, attempt to talk to a manager about it. You know, no escalation team called me to address this issue. Now, while Skip the Dishes says they didn't have a breach, they are advising customers to be vigilant about their online security and recommend that they use unique passwords for different online platforms.